December 19th, first day of the late Advent, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. In the days of Herod, king of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah. Once when he was serving as a priest in his divisions turned before God, the angel of the Lord appeared to him. Standing at the right of the altar of incense, Zechariah was troubled by what he saw, and fear came upon him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, because your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you shall name him John. And you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth, for he will be great in the sight of the Lord. And the angel said to him in reply, I am Gabriel, who stand before God. I was sent to speak to you and to announce to you this good news. Meanwhile, the people were waiting for Zechariah and were amazed that he stayed so long in the sanctuary. But when he came out, he was unable to speak to them, and they realized that he had seen a vision in the sanctuary. He was gesturing to them, but remained mute. Then, when his days of ministry were completed, he went home. After this time, his wife Elizabeth conceived and she went into seclusion for five months, saying, So has the Lord done for me at a time when he has seen fit to take away my disgrace before others. The Gospel of the Lord Your prayer has been heard. Zechariah miscalculates the seriousness of the angel's conversation with him as he burns incest in the temple. The angel announces to him that his wife will soon bear a child. God has heard his prayer. That child will have a big role to play in the preparation for the coming of the Messiah. We may excuse Zechariah for such disbelief because he is already old. Besides, his wife is way past childbearing age. The angel seems unforgiving. He does not allow himself to be prevailed by the old man's incredulity. He shuts Zechariah's mouth. The philosopher Zechariah can no longer speak. This brings him to a new stage of life. 